Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, okay, we are here to get some messages and information about your specific person right now. So if this video found you and you're, in, you're intuitively called to it, it most definitely found you for a reason and this is intended to be timeless. So whenever it found you, it found you in divine timing when it was meant to, okay? So I have three different little categories here for you, which sometimes I do break my readings down in this structure. I like to change things up over here on this channel, but we have little section number one with your person's current thoughts about you, their mental energy. We have pile number two with your person's current emotional energy, their feelings for you right now. And then we have pile number four down here with their current intentions, okay? And the fourth, or excuse, did I say pile number four? Pile number three down here, uh, they got four cards. That's what I was trying to say here. So uh, you actually got four for this one. But anywho, you guys, so your person is seeing you as somebody who is quite gifted right now. I think that that's heavy on their mind in regards to you. I think that they're quite impressed by you. Um, but they also feel like there's something going on under the surface of you that they can't quite put their finger on, almost like you still remain a bit of a mystery to this person, but they're interested in that. It's like the mystery is calling out to them more and more as time goes on, and they want to figure you out, like they want to get to the bottom of this mystery, almost like you're ethereal in a lot of ways, like you're this ethereal, mystical fairy-like being to this person regardless of gender they just really are looking at you like somebody that um, is much different than the norm okay so to speak you might live your way you're, you might live your life in like a, an alternative style compared to what uh, other people that they're familiar with live their life like um, and I think that they're just really impressed by you. Like you just, just seem like a mystery to this person. I don't know what you're doing to this person, but they're like absolutely enthralled by you. It's giving me um, Scorpio energies, um, very mysterious. And like there's a lot going on under the surface and people are often very magnetized in by that. Okay. Um, also, one thing I wanted to point out to you is that the second clarifying card, the only cards that came out from my Naked Heart Tarot deck were the pages or the innocence, the innocence of pentacles, the innocence of cups, the innocence of swords. So it's almost like that's like a pun and a play on words for me here, although I know it means the page for each of these. It's like this person almost views you as although you're quite magnetic and eccentric and like you draw them in they're very obviously physically attracted to you as well they also view you almost as angel-like like goddess-like like you're very pure you're a very pure being okay um, again regardless of gender it's like they view this innocence about you this beauty about you where um, you're very much light-hearted and carefree um, and you haven't quite let the world get its like corruptive hands on you 100% yet where you're always like suspicious of other people like you might be a little bit naive this person could be viewing you a little bit naive and please again don't shoot the messenger I'm just um I'm just delivering a message of how they perceive you at this time okay and how they feel about you but um, hopping back to the mental energy, essentially, yes, I see that this person wants to have a new beginning with you and there is some type of an offering that they want to make to you. However, they are still kind of thinking that over because they don't know how to impress you properly and they feel like they have to really like super impress you, but you're mysterious to them. So I think that they're still kind of contemplating that. Uh, they might be thinking about giving you a flower Blue roses have been coming up in my readings a lot recently, and there's actually, she is holding a blue rose, ironically enough. So uh, maybe some of you guys can expect some type of blue bouquet of flowers from this person in the near future. If you are watching this when it was released, and again, it is meant to be timeless, uh, we're coming up on Valentine's Day in the States in the coming days. I don't know if that's a, I don't think it's a worldwide holiday. 
but in the States, Valentine's Day is just a couple days away, so it's quite common to give your love interests flowers around this time of the month here um, in February, so there's potential for that for you guys, okay? Um, because we also have three little flowers on this card as well, and flowers on this card. Um, and those are the only cards that contain flowers actually at all. So yeah, your person might be thinking about giving you some type of a small gift, such as a bouquet of flowers or something as a token of their appreciation for you without being too forward. I don't see this person coming in with keys to a house offering to move in together, for example, but they might want to give you some type of a small monetary gift or just a small offering to move things forward with you in the future, okay? I see that this person has been taking some time to go within, maybe spend some more time in meditation and self-reflection. Um, they've maybe even just been spending more time in rest and uh, just kind of recuperating their energy recovering from something okay excuse me guys i'm recovering from an illness if you can't tell here i had the flu so bear with me my voice and my sniffles are still a little bit present okay um but yeah this person's been thinking about it emotionally they're feeling very calm they're feeling at peace over this connection they're not feeling like any sense of dire urgency or rush to make this happen uh, they do want to approach you maturely. They do want to come in with an offering, but they're not feeling like it's now or never. It's not like it's do or die, now or never type of energy coming from this person. They're very at peace in regards to you and your connection right now, which is a beautiful thing. Um, they're not exhibiting any type of lack mentality or unworthiness or... Um, like jealousy, they're just very peaceful and calm and ready to, you know, slowly but surely move things forward with you. I do think that they're, they are thinking about some type of a small romantic gesture. Again, could be in the form of a gift. Likely it's going to involve a gift and um, some minor emotional expression as well, possibly an apology for some of you guys, but I'm not picking up on that too strongly here just some type of a small romantic gift or date offer um, and a bit of emotional vulnerability. You do make this person feel very emotionally open whether they like it or not. I think in the past it might have scared this person away either in your connection or in their past romantic connections but there's something about you and this sense of freedom and mystery that you evoke in this person that makes them want to be a bit more emotionally open because they don't want to miss out on this chance. But it's not like they're feeling like they're going to miss out and you're just going to ghost them and never talk to them again and ride off into the sunset with somebody else. It's just that they see that they have this golden opportunity with you potentially and they just don't want to miss out on that chance. So they're much more likely to be willing to open up emotionally a little bit more than they may have in the past with past partners. And they're excited about that, if anything. Okay, so now when it comes to their intentions, clearly they see you as end game. I don't know if you know that or not. I don't know if they've expressed that to you or not, but they most definitely see you as end game here, okay? Because we have the four of wands and the nine of cups. Sometimes um, in tarot, we can read both of these. First of all, we can read both of these as wish fulfillment cards because this is like an 1111 card. And then the Nine of Cups is literally about your dreams coming true, your wish being fulfilled, right? So we have two wish fulfillment cards coming out here. Not only that, but this can also indicate like a happy love life, a happy marriage for some of you guys and celebration and joyous energy, right? Um, and I think that that your person is intending on calling forth that towards the two of you by first being a little bit more forthright with their communication. So if they have struggled with opening up verbally to you about their feelings, about their intentions, about their thoughts, I think this is going to first start off by them being a little bit more mature with their communication skills coming in and actually chatting with you one-on-one -on -one about what their intentions are um, and then kind of just 
inching their way into this happy ending with you, so to speak, okay? So they do want to have a mature conversation, and I see that coming for you in the near future, you guys. In the very near future. So, exciting. Very exciting. But it's going to start off small. This person's going to be like a slow and steady wins the race type of person from what I can see here. Uh, let's get a couple of messages from them now to see what they would like to say to you if they felt like they could without holding anything back. I'm going to keep this reading rather short today, you guys. What would this person like to say, please, spiritual team? What are their messages for the viewer? What would they like to say? I have big news. Okay, that's interesting. So they might have something rather important to share with you. Let's get some more info, spiritual team. Well, need a couple come out. Okay, we have, we have a few coming out actually, so bear with me guys. It's gonna be one right after another. You're my muse, you do inspire this person. I have wounds you don't know about. Yeah, so that could be part of why this person would really like to take things slow with you. It might be a water sign. And then we also have, I have a hard time communicating about my feelings. So as I was mentioning, I think that in past relationships, your person really struggled with emotional vulnerability and openness. And you've like inspired them to be a bit more forthright about their intentions and their feelings. Even if it's, yeah, and then they're saying yes. They're saying yes. Um, so even if it's just little by little, I think that you're really inspiring this person to take those baby steps, okay? Look at the way this tiger is moving, for example, okay? It's just like little baby step by little baby step. The tiger's not in a rush to strike just yet. It's just kind of inching its way on in, okay? I think that you're really, you really are inspiring this person in more ways than you know. You've helped me in so many ways and they would really like you to know that. Like you genuinely, you're really inspiring this person to grow and evolve and to take a couple of small baby steps in the direction of what's bringing them their happiness, which is you and this connection, okay? Everything's reminding them of you. We also have a lot of pinks coming out. Yeah, for some of you guys, this person might come forward around Valentine's Day if you live in the States, which is just a couple days from now. Um, you very much impress this person. Yes, you do. They're very impressed by you and your openness. You're, you're very inspiring to them. Let's get out a few tiles and charms to get out any information. That was a T that went flying over there. Uh, Texas could be important to this connection. Texas, if you do live in the States, okay. All right, let's get some more out. Maybe a person does taxes for a living. They could be like a tax professional or around like tax season could be another time frame for this for you guys. Okay. Uh, for a lot of you guys out there, this is like a relationship that's still in the beginning stages, like somebody you just met or it's recently gone through some type of a rebirth and it's all going to feel brand new, like you guys get to have a little reset with each other, okay? All right, you guys, so I have a cross coming out right away. You or your person could believe in Jesus or religious factors could be playing a role with your relationship and your connection. We have another A coming out here. And if you guys are seeing anything that I missed, um, with the letters, please comment down below for the collective. We all really, really appreciate that if I'm missing anything. I also just saw pay and bay. So that's another thing that they just came through. But anyway, you guys, we have two cherries coming out here. Okay, so your person um, might really like cherries. That could also be like almost a note to get better sleep. Some of you guys out there are feeling called out right now, but you need to get better sleep. And prioritize that because cherries have melatonin and they remind me of like a sleepy time okay we also have an L coming out here yeah the Sun some of you guys are staying awake a little bit too much too much later than you need to or your person is they've been up late at night thinking about you um, oh yeah Sun signs I didn't get that out we have Leo coming out here um, we also have Libra 
and anything else. I think that's it, you guys. I think that's it. The high priestess might, might be Pisces. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you guys have kids or that's something that you would like to have with this person in the future or pets. That's also making me think of like a dog tag, like on a cat or dog's collar. So maybe you guys want to have kids together or fur kids, fur babies. Okay. Um, we have a butterfly. So there's some type of change coming for this connection in the near future. And maybe a person would like to go on like a little sailing adventure or trip down by the water for you. That could be one of the dates that they're planning on asking you on. Let me get a couple more zodiacs out for you guys. And then we're gonna carry it on from here. Scorpio, Gemini, Scorpio again. And then we do in Cancer and we do have water signs coming out here too. So yeah, you or your person could definitely be Cancer, um, Scorpio or Pisces. Strong notes of Scorpio coming out though and Cancer. So fabulous, you guys. The last thing I'm going to do is get you a feather card. Actually, we're going to do angel numbers too, they said. Let's do angel numbers too. Hold on. Oh, um, uh, Roll With Me. The song Roll With Me is coming through. I don't know who it's by. Um, I think it was from like either the 90s or the early 2000s. You'll recognize it if you listen to it, okay? 2112, it's up to you. Someone is watching over you. Good fortune, unforeseen forces, and direction. So your spirit guides and your guardian angels could be popping in to say that they are watching over you right now. That could be confirmation for somebody who needs it out there. And 222, beautiful. Feminine, 2222, if I didn't say that, okay? Um, or just multiples of two, clearly in general. February, again, could also be important. Feminine forces relationships, balance, prosperity, efficiency, patience, and humility. Yeah, the numbers, um, multiples of two always just really remind me of romantic relationships or partnerships in general, maybe business partnerships, um, union, balance, okay? Beautiful energy. So yeah, this is, like, this is ascending into a beautiful love relationship for most of you guys out there. Let's get a message out just for you. That is funny, by the way, because I flipped it over and the back of the deck is the dove. Oh my goodness. And my angels show me doves when it, doves are the equivalent to seeing the number 222 for me in my world. So um, pay attention to doves. That could be indicative that a beautiful romantic relationship is just on the horizon for you. That could be confirmation. Um, this card says, feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality. Yeah, peace, peace and love. Um, I, there's this like ancient Zen proverb, you guys. And then, wow, we have swans too. And that's a beautiful, oh my goodness. That's another beautiful indicator of a beautiful union on its way to you. So lovely. But anyway, you guys, um, there's like this ancient Zen proverb or something like that, where it's like, if somebody gives you the butterflies they're not the one when you meet the one you're going to feel very calm and peaceful um and i i butchered the heck out of that phrase okay so if you want to comment the real quote down below for the collective you're welcome to but essentially it's it's kind of true when you meet your soulmate um you're gonna feel almost just at home instantly like soulmate energy is very calm and peaceful it's not going to be giving you like anxiety or tons of butterflies or something like that and this is how this person is feeling about you right now very zen very peaceful very tranquil very calming so overall beautiful you guys if the reading resonated don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around for more in the future i hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day or night whenever you're watching this and i hope to see you for a future video when my voice is not as crackly so bear with me and if you would like a non-crackle voice video head over to my channel i have two different playlists i have my pick a card playlist and my pop-up reading playlist and those have quite a few in them each so scroll through see if any of them call out to you but for now i'm gonna bid you adieu i hope you have a fabulous day or night bye for now